Betty's getting over getting sick. She was, she's was. she been a trooper. I am a trooper, and... Um, it's been a long week. I don't... I never look sick. I, no, you don't. That's why she doesn't get any sick. So I can't even act sick. <sighs> so I thought we talked to you. You got a few questions from people who want to know, how do you tell someone you're having sex with that you're in a sexual relationship? That there's something that you don't like that they do. I get this one a lot. Because, you know, you're with someone and they do something once and you're like, that wasn't great, but it's okay. Then they pull it out again and do it again. And then by the third time, you're like, all right, (laughs) we have a problem. But I don't want to say anything because it'll hurt his feelings or her feelings. This is a big problem. Now, I'm going to give a little story here about how it was for me back when I was in my 20s. I was in therapy at the time, and it was kind of unusual in the 50s. That was very advanced. Very advanced. Well, that's the story of my life. And I would go to my therapist, and I'd say, rrr, rrr, and she's, oh, did you tell him? I can't. I can't tell him. It'll hurt his feelings. And so what did said, she tell you to do? You have to get your mouth open. She kept saying it. Then she showed a bunch of pictures that, that I had shown her. She said, look, every one of those pictures, your mouth is shut. <gasps> And I went, <laughs> Open my, and now she can't close it. <laughs> oh, I'm never going to close so it. So what was the first time like when the first right, time so, you did it? So, so I said, all right, I'm going to, so you said, she said, practice it. She said, practice after, you know, after you've had sex, don't do it during the moment. Oh, yeah. No, but she wasn't smart enough to say that. And what happened is that, that this guy I was dating at the time was doing very firm clit stim. And it was, oh. And don't you know I was just going to grin and bear it, and so work I, through the breathe so, through the pain. I, so I, that that night we had. I said, "I'm all right. I'm going to do it tonight," and I couldn't. The following time we got together, all right, this is it. I'm going to do it. And I don't know the third or the fourth time. All of a sudden, I said, "Wait!" <laughs> it was awful because you just exploded. I did. I did. I exploded, <laughs> and he went, "What? What? And that's kind of scary." <laughs> and I said, "Oh, I'm so sorry." I just, I needed to tell you that it's too much. You just have to do lighter stimulation. And he said, well, honey, why didn't you say so? We assume that someone's going to be upset if we're honest. And that's a sad why, thing, why, you why, know, why? why? Yeah, why don't we have a voice? I like what you said before. We were talking about this topic right before we turned on the camera. And said, you know, it's a way, it's like denying ourselves pleasure. Well, it's always protecting the male or the female ego, and I think it's done by men and women, gay and straight. Whoever we're with, we don't want to hurt their feelings, because why? They will dump us, they will abandon us. Is this because none of us got enough mother's love? But that undermines the relationship, because if you're not having good sex with them, and they don't know it, they can't change anything. That's not fair. It is not fair. (laughs) It is not fair. What you want to do is... Not during sex and not right after sex, but sometime when you're both in a very good mood. Mm. You know, honey, I'd really like for us to talk more about sex. I'd love to do it after we have sex when it's still fresh in our mind. You start, always start with a compliment. I love it when you do blah, blah, blah. And he'll say, oh, really? I'm very happy to hear that. That really makes my pussy wet. Oh, it just is so hot. (laughs) Now, if you could just do... Blah, blah, blah. Add a little or detract a little, just a subtract a little bit. That's it. You'd make me crazy. I would, da, 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 you know. Yeah, you, you'll have me forever. I, I I will be forever, eternally grateful. I'll be your sex slave forever. I'll be your bitch forever. <laughs> Which isn't true either. No. <laughs> anyway, it's very hard. It's hard for all of us to communicate honestly. Mm-hmm. And if there's anger behind it, you have to work that anger off. And come to them when you're calm. So we'll be chatting again this Wednesday at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Live stream slash Dotson and Ross. Uh, Last week's chat was a huge success. It was a lot of fun. We both had a a ton of fun. Didn't you like it? I loved it. I loved it. As sick as I was, I loved every minute. I couldn't hear, but I could (laughs) see and whatever I could see. And it was just the concept. Of having your live questions and being able to interact. It was so much fun. Yeah, I look forward to the next one. I can't wait for Wednesday. So Wednesday, 9 o'clock. See you then.